Ooh. Hello. We're walking on sunshine here. We're <laughs> recording this at a time of day when we've never recorded we don't, in this room. Yes. And the, it is it is certainly bright. And you know what? Matt Steele is going to be doing the editing of this, and I know he's going to make the colors look perfect, so you won't even notice. You know what? I could do this video entirely in black and white. That Wouldn't would be, that be exciting? <laughs> or like a sepia, like hey, an Adele music video? Some of the, Adele didn't make the cut, but some of the music videos here, are there any black and white ones? I actually don't know that there uh, are. There are are black and white videos. Are there? Yes. The one that I think is going to win. Oh, probably. well. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to another Two Gay Mats. It is Matt Steele. And it's Matt Palmer. And we all know that you love these bracket videos, and we try to do as many of them as we can yes. on various different topics. Yes. This time, we are going with who, out of all of our pop girlies, has the best signature music video. Absolutely. Now, is signature music video subjective? <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say what each artist's signature video is? Yes. Matt Palmer's to say because he's the one that made the final decision. <laughs> hey, on and some of these I don't agree. Is not all artists. of them. You put "Thank You Next" by Ariana in there. That was oh, your that's choice. obviously her her signature video. And we also it wasn't all up to me because we asked the Discord. Because if you go to patreoncom slash 2 match, you can chit chat with us. So when things like this come up, and Matt Steele has an idea that might not be right, <laughs> you can pull the audience, pull the people, and we said, "Hey, for Lady Gaga, one of the best visual artists of our time." Uh, what is her signature music video between these two options? Bad Romance and Telephone. Overwhelmingly, I'd say over 80% of the vote went to Bad Romance. Oh, it's such a shame that 80% of the people were wrong because <laughs> well. Telephone is, Bad Romance is her signature song. No. Telephone is her signature What video. you're saying is literally There's wrong. A difference. You've said it so many times that it sounds true to you, but it's a lie and that's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, so this video is going to be half about the decisions that were made <laughs> and half about what wins in the bracket. So fun fact, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow mm. and I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous about what he's going to find because while I do obviously do all the brushing and all the flossing and all the good habits that are required of me, I might have a few sugary bad habits as well. Oh, that's so weird because I don't have any bad habits because I'm perfect. Oh, that's funny because you do love champagne on occasion. I don't Palmer. love champagne as much as you love boba. Okay, well, I love few things as much as I love boba, but... Boba, unfortunately for me, does have a little sugar. But I love the taste. I love the chewing while I drink. It's literally <laughs> perfect. So you are going to have to pry Boba from my cold, dead hands to get me to give that habit up. So getting rid of a bad habit is really, really hard. I know. I can understand why a lot of people struggle with trying to stop a bad habit. Well, instead of trying to kick a bad habit, maybe it's easier just to kick the bad out of a habit. That's why I wanted to tell you all about today's sponsor, Fume. Fume is an award-winning flavored air device that fills the void ditching a bad habit can leave. Fume uses passive diffusion to simply draw all natural flavors into your mouth. And unlike vaping, Fume utilizes no vapor, no electronics, no combustion, and no nicotine, so it's not addictive. In fact, Fume continuously invests in third-party studies to ensure the safety of their products and is backed by U.S. doctors. It is a guilt-free option for satisfying things like any oral fixation habits, and it even satisfies the urge to fidget if that's your go-to habit because each fume device is made to fidget with. We should do like an ASMR. Oh, yeah. you know. It's so beautiful to the ear. It like twists and it clicks. It has these magnets. Ooh. Oh, I love a magnet. We love a magnet. It's we like, love a magnet. It's very fun to play with. It's kind of like a musical instrument. It's gorgeous. Put this as the production in a song, a pop song. N next song. It's next song. all over it. Matt Palmer original. <laughs> and you know I'm all about a sleek design, so I love how it looks with the combination of the metal and the wood. You could even choose your own shade of the wood. It's very lovely. And it doesn't even use batteries, so there's no charging needed. You can just easily grab it, go, you're on your way. Fume comes in a variety of flavors like orange vanilla, crisp mint, cinnamon hearts, white cranberry, I was on their website and was really impressed by the variety of flavors on there. All of which, again, are all natural and non-toxic, which we can't stress how much we love. Fume has helped over 300,000 customers take the bad out of their bad habits. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in or you want to see everything that Fume has to offer, scan the QR code that you see on the screen here or go to tryfume.com slash 2 mats. For a limited time offer, you can actually use our code 2 mats to get a free mouthpiece topper, which is a great accessory to add to your Fume device. You just slip it onto the mouthpiece for a softer, warmer sensation, and it's chewable. So if you're like Matt Steele, who likes to chew things... Uh, I love it. It's giving me boba ball, very <laughs> chewy. So, again, check out Fume by scanning the QR code on the screen or by clicking the link in the info section and get a free topper by using our code 2 mats, all capital letters, no spaces. And now, back to the video. Yes. So let's get the music videos up on the sides. Yes. And here we go. So the top uh, left corner, yes. as we would say, is Miss Beyonce. Heard of her. Single ladies yes. versus Rihanna 
We Found Love. Which, you know, we love both Beyonce and Rihanna. Oh, love, 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 love. And we love both We Found Love and Single Ladies, the music videos. The yes. songs, I prefer We Found it's, Love. <laughs> oh, it's so interesting. Single Ladies as a song, both of us are kind of just like, Cute. It's like it's, if it's, Get Me Bodied was going to be tried again in 2008, then yes, you'd get a single ladies. But is it quite as good sonically, musically as Get Me Bodied? Well, nothing is. But then you saw the music video yes. and you were just like, <laughs> and we didn't. <laughs> everything stopped. We didn't just see the music video. You lived the music <laughs> video. It was literally before Beyonce, you know, dropped the digital drop and the world stopped then. It also stopped when single ladies were released. Yes. And you can just ask anyone who was rooting for if I were a boy. <laughs> 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 if that's what happened, because babe, it absolutely did. I feel like with Beyonce's career, there are so many moments where you can say this was before like self-titled yes. and after self-titled. Like there are so many landmark moments in her career. Single ladies, I think is her first landmark moment? I mean, maybe? there's a clear, like, when Crazy in Love came out. Sure, but of course, but that's a given for that's any a given. artist. Oop. But like, <laughs> oh, I know, okay. I'm in pain. I feel like with Single Ladies, that is when Beyonce established herself as, no, 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 I'm not just an incredible live performer, right. I'm not just a superstar, but I am an artist, yes. and I am a visual artist. Yes. Like, without Single Ladies, I don't think there's a self title. I don't think so Like, either. I don't think there's a visual album. It's so simple. Three ladies, one of them is Beyonce, <laughs> <laughs> yes. in a triangle, and they are doing Bob Fosse inspired choreography, like all, like one shot, just iconic choreography, iconic costumes, black and white, yes. as we've established. And you love practical lighting. <laughs> oh, it's just a moment. It has to be said, We Found Love is an excellent video. Oh, we Found Love is a brilliant, brilliant song, yes. an excellent video, but I think compared to like how single ladies, the video just like override single ladies just the song right like we found love the song overrides the overrides video. the video it's just say. like it lives on its own as a perfect piece of pop music and while we're not knocking it for being a better song it's like the video doesn't enhance it the way that the single, single ladies, ladies video enhanced yeah singles, and i would know? argue that rihanna's signature video is umbrella but that's okay we found love is a very good video it's as well video. you watch the video of we found love and you're just like oh 2012 because it, it mean, looks like an instagram filter yes. like that that like color correcting is so of the, was so cool yes. in that time just watch magic mike <laughs> Same I know. look. <laughs> so you very much like watch that video and you're you harken back to a certain time. Absolutely. But if we're talking about We can all agree. We can all agree. Single, single ladies, ladies it let is. Me pick my pen back up after I dropped it after <laughs> thinking know. about single ladies. Here we go. Matt Steele, what's next? What's oh, the next? Hold on. Ooh, usually you're the one who's right. I know, and you know I keep it quick. I know. Okay, <laughs> so next is Christina Aguilera's dirty yes. music video, which was a very dirty music oh. video. And Madonna's like a prayer. And this, it's always hard when we go back to the past and it's moments that like we actually did not, like maybe, like I don't even remember what year it came out. It was like 88 89. or something. It's like we were alive, but we were truly babies. Don't tell the, don't tell the people. They know. With Christina, just so we all are clear, we're coming, like her previous era was her Merry Christmas, I'm singing every run imaginable era. Yeah. Her last like non-Christmas song that we heard English language was like, come on over baby, all I want is you. She is literally like pop princess going up against Britney. You can see the comparison and she clearly made a choice <laughs> she's like i want to work with rock wilder and Re and uh i want to have david LaChapelle from this video i want it to be as dirty as the song sounds and my goodness it is everything was dirty she did not wash her hair for a year <laughs> the grease in the hair the streaks the highlights the body is covered in oil and filth and man sweat and she's boxing she's, she's underground boxing, boxing. So she's working out as well <laughs> it was absolutely a moment and I will say of all of the music videos that like I listed out here I was like the only one I needed to rewatch was like a prayer and my god uh, I mean that the thing is I love Christina and that is an excellent video and if we're talking about like oh points in which their careers changed based on a yeah. moment oh, Dirty is absolutely Dirty that. is when Christina was just like I am dirty yes like don't try to paint me into this corner don't pop princess me yes don't pop princess virginal me because yeah. it's not that yeah but Madonna. But man, when you bring Jesus into the <laughs> equation. And the thing is, so many people have tried to do it since then, including Miss Lady Gaga, who will be appearing later. 
no one's done it quite as well. Like the controversy surrounding the Like Oof. a Prayer video, the perfection of that song, the fact that she is saved by Black Jesus, who like breaks up a white gang fight or whatever, Love but it. also gets carted away by the evil police. It's as like, only Jesus could. It still resonates today. It is affecting it's beautiful it is just so cinematic it is it's theatrical it's so theatrical it ends with a curtain call madonna is so known for like you will be talking about yes. me i will be on your everyone's lips because yes. i'm gonna do the biggest and baddest right. and most controversial thing like ever just because i fucking can <laughs> and i'm gonna like make my art and everything because i am madonna like that is madonna's mo yes. and this video i think is the epitome right because it was that. before what it feels like for a girl got banned it was before justify my love got banned that this got banned her fucking pepsi commercial got taken off the air yeah. because of this music video it was a moment it's triumphant my votes for like oh a like a prayer <laughs> like obviously because it's just like you can be as like sexy and slutty as you want <laughs> but you throw jesus in the equation and you make him black in 1989 people were talking people were talking yeah. okay so next bracket yes taylor swift blank space mm. and Aaliyah. Are you that somebody? This is a tough matchup. This is a tough matchup. This is a tough matchup. <laughs> you were around for Aaliyah's lifetime or artistry, her career. The fact that she is going to make a song and music video this good for the fucking, what was it, Dr. Doolittle? Dr. Doolittle. This is an artist at the peak of her power. She's so creative. She is like breaking down boundaries sonically, visually. The music video is everything. And the thing is, Taylor Swift has many good videos, absolutely. Yeah. But you can't beat. Blank space, like like storytelling wise, the cinematic visuals, and it was the first time that she was leaning into an image that wasn't like poor me fairy tales. Where it's like, what if everything you said about me was fucking true? Yeah, or like the cutes, because like shake it off, because I could also argue maybe shake it off as a signature music video, just because the visuals were everywhere they were. at the time. They were. But blank space to me was her like being like, no, 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 I'm not the most likable. Yes. Like I'm not the most endearing person. Yes. So to me, and also just the story storytelling aspect of the music video as like a filmmaker myself. It's just like <laughs> perfectly edited. Yes. It's such a simple concept. It's so funny. It's stunningly gorgeous. Yes. But I mean, just like the silver of Are You That Somebody. Mm. This Just like when I think of like cool songs like of the Aaliyah time, yes. I think of all, her in that silver. It's just the <laughs> silver, the gray, the slate. And she's like, it looks like she's in a fucking cave with that I hawk. know. It's, it's just. She was just the queen of just like, this is the setup. Yes. And we're all going to be dancing and around it. And then she, at the end of the video, it's like, okay, now I'm going to look really fucking sexy yeah. and dance like, I don't know, merengue? I don't even know what the, I'm not a dancer. But it was something beautiful and she killed it. And look at the hawk. Look at the hawk. Don't um, forget. I, I'll let you decide this one because I really don't know what I would pick out of the two. I'm not happy about picking it. No. Because I love, we love everyone, as you know. Yeah. I'm going to go with Blank Space. Okay. A lot of that is because it's, you know, later on, you're just going to get more cinematic music videos. Yeah. This was such a heel turn for Taylor in a way that Aaliyah has always been the coolest person in the fucking room, you sure. know? Yeah. One of my favorite parts of the video is at the very end when the next limo comes uh, out and there's the new male model that and she's then, gonna and torture. Then the eyes just, and I'll write your name. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful editing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Great Taylor, work. you got me there, girl. Next one. Yes. Kylie Minogue's Can't Get You Out of My Head. Talk about silver. And Britney Spears' Slave for You. Yes. Which I thought was an inspired choice by Matt Thank Palmer. Thank you so much. Because I feel like most people would either say Baby One More Time is her mm. signature music video or Toxic is her yes. signature music video. But when you said we're doing Slave for You, I was kind of just like, I feel like that's right. Do you see just it? Because it's like, yes, we know her as America's sweetheart pop princess. We also know just the the costumes of Tox yes. and obviously like that song. But Slave for You was when she was just like, I am the performer. <laughs> yes! I am hot. Yes. I am sweaty. All you need is me wearing pink dental floss, a bunch of hot guys <sighs> dancing around me, and I'm tossing my hair. Oh. And that choreography. Oh. Everyone knows. Guys. Everyone knows. If ever you're bored, go on YouTube, watch the single take of Britney doing the entire choreo of like, the video is set up, and it's like, okay, just do the, do the choreo for like this three and a half minute song, and she just kills it all. It literally could have been the video. It could have been I, here's the, the single thing. ladies before single is like one shot her doing every move that will stick with you for fucking ever here's the thing yes. i don't think slave for you is going to win this bracket spoiler alert wow. however if the music video was just that <laughs> shot <laughs> It could. It would be really in the fucking yes. ring. But we also got to give Kylie her props. Like, I mean, I remember being a kid watching on TV, just the red 
and the white costumes. Yes. Just there, just acting like weird robots. Right. And I was too young to really understand it. I don't really know what there is to understand other than it's cool. But like, it's such an iconic, like the color is so iconic. The imagery of her with her lips. Right. Iconic. And, and that song. And it's like, this is a person who, I believe she had a US hit much earlier with like a cover of The Locomotion. But she was very known in the UK, in Europe, in Australia, and never broke through into the US except until this song. And so much of that was this music video. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. she, to be at that stage in your career where you're like albums and albums in, you've got your like diehard fans. You're like, but maybe I want to push the envelope even more. And she goes so fucking worldwide with this breakthrough album fever, which made her a giant star. I just, I'll never forget when that song was everywhere, when that video was everywhere. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. What are you picking? I'm picking Slave for You. I'll pick Slave for You too. Yes, but it's close. All right, we're on to the next side now. Yes. We have Lady Gaga, Bad Romance. Her Her signature video. Controversial choice. Not really. (laughs) (laughs) We have Brandy and Monica, The Boy Is Mine. The Boy Is Mine. How dare you put these two against I'm each other? I'm sorry. And the simple art direction of the boy. I remember being a child. Oh. Watching <laughs> the boy is my music video. And the yes. simple, the simplicity of the art direction. Monica had the classic looking apartment. Mm. Whereas Brandy had the funky looking <laughs> apartment with the funky bed and everything. Yes. And I was just like, oh, I know how these two girls are different. Yes, they're very different. Uh, but still going after the same guy, same taste. But then at the end of the video, they're twins. Uh, I mean, that little Spoiler twist, alert. Can't, uh, can't give enough love to the boy is mine. Yeah. Bad Romance is a sea change. Bad Romance is the music video that will go down in history for Lady Gaga, even though some of us don't agree. Here's the thing. Lady Gaga has so many of these music She videos. does, but this is number one on all, of, on all of that list. It is like, this is when you realize, much like uh, Beyonce of Single Ladies, this is when I personally realized she was a visionary. Because, of course, she cool shit. Like, no one's going to say the paparazzi video is not very fucking cool. Oh, sure, of course. Um, But... This felt like, okay, all the artistry that we had been seeing in the interviews and on stage and like in the meat dress. It's like everything was like performance art, performance art, performance art. And then this music in the, of the fame in the videos, for the most part, were a little safer was, than maybe the image well, I mean, was. At the, at the time, we were just like, whoa. But then right. Fame Monster came out and we were like, ooh. And Wait. this was when the music videos and the music started matching, matching the up. edge yeah. that she was giving in all other aspects of her artistry. I just will never forget all the setups of this, the giant shoes, the dance break. Like, it is a masterpiece. It's beautiful. Bad romance. It's insane. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, so I'm not angry that it's here. I just, telephone was that shit crazy. She doesn't even like that video. Well, Gaga, <laughs> you're wrong. I'm sorry. I'll tell you to your face. Okay, well. I love you, Brandy and Monica. Gwen Stefani, cool. Yes. And Mariah Carey. (laughs) And the thing is, I went back and forth about which Mariah one to choose. Okay. Between Honey and Heartbreaker. But I think the lambs and the disco are like, maybe Honey is the one. And also, if we're talking about heel turns, we're talking about new image changes. Yeah. When you're coming from Mariah on the Daydream Tour wearing a black turtleneck, black leather pants, and a black long jacket to... The nothing she's wearing in Honey. <laughs> she's doing an, a whole James Bond motif. And I like Honey a lot, but again, we're talking about music videos yeah, that we're, elevate the song. We're not talking about songs in here. It has a little storyline. It has uh, Eddie Griffin, I think. It's like got the comedy. It's like we're finally getting to know Mariah's personality for the yes. first time. Seven years and like six albums into her career. And also, we're finally able to discover Mariah Carey's color palette. Yes! Because, I mean, the champagne. It's, hey. it's everything. Thing it's is just champagne, absolutely. neutral, like those, which like Heartbreaker is like a little more colorful. It is. So to me, Honey feels a little more Mariah. Which, by the way, the whole world's very neutral color palette these days. Maybe Mariah was the one to bring it to the forefront. People always love, also love to whisper in their songs these days. Another thing Mariah brought to the forefront. Just saying. Just saying. She's a trendsetter. And the thing is, so many people love the cool music video that I felt I had to include it for Gwen. If it were up to me, like, if I was the person, I would have maybe picked a different music video, but... I would have picked Holla Back Girl. I, I don't know if I would have picked that. I would have picked something else, but I feel like the like every three weeks, there's a, a fucking viral tweet about how cool is the best music video of all time. Really? Yes, people fucking love this video. Oh, it's and not it's on like, my algorithm. <laughs> and it's like, is it because she's brunette in it? Is it the storytelling? Is it the fact that we were there with Don't Speak, and now she and Tony Canal are becoming cool, and it feels like we're watching their story get like wrapped up beautifully in a music video? Maybe, and it's, it's beautifully shot. It looks like the White Lotus before the White Lotus was a thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, all love to Gwen, 
We love Gwen. Honey, it is. And I mean, sure. Honey, it is. Look at the, the sun has set. And I now know. Look at, look at our <laughs> looks so much better. Now. We said Mariah Carey and Jesus just went, <laughs> ooh, make it a little, make it a little cool. Yes. Okay, next. Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. Yes. And Dua Lipa, new rules. Thank you, next is very fun. Yes. And we love the referencing of many films that we yep. grew up with. The Legally Blonde, the, you know, Mean Girls, all of it. All the guest stars. Yes. Chris Jenner's in the video yes. being Amy Poehler. It's very cute. Yes. The song is excellent. Sure. Like, that, I think, is still up there as far as Ariana songs yeah. go. This is why I think it is Ariana Grande's signature music video, because I think it was the first time people were really, really, like, all on board. That's true. The weird thing is, I don't love this music <laughs> video. So the fact that I fought for it to be you considered did. her signal, like I think her music videos, I think her music videos for Eternal Sunshine era have been really fucking yeah. excellent. Like yes, and I love that video. Um, uh, we can't be friends. We can't be friends. Like with the like all and the Catwoman of the the boy's mind. Like right. they're all referencing movies. Like, they do it in a more sophisticated way, a more simple way. Yeah, it's like we're referencing one thing. We're referencing one versus... thing, and we're telling one story. Whereas right. the thank you next music video I'm just like yes we all love Mean Girls yes we all love what was the other one Legally, Legally Blonde. Blonde yes we all love 13 going on 30 does this make sense like it feels like it's just like we're just making these references just so people can go oh mm. which is like it's fun how you create a viral moment exactly. and that's why this was like her first viral thing right. I feel which is why again I think it's her signature thing and also just like we're just having cameos just to have them um, it's it was just a music video to get people talking about the music video, right. which I totally get. Which I get, so but I would like, never begrudge. When the song is already naming names of her ex-boyfriends, does she need that? Yeah, you know? sure. I, I, I don't think, I think the song uh, was good enough yes. where it didn't need a, a music video that tried a, that as hard as it Okay, did. I hear that. No, I hope that doesn't sound mean. No, it's fine. New Rules is cinema. New like, Rules <laughs> literally <laughs> is like th the way that du Dua Lipa broke through. Like Ugh. this was the moment. Like, of course, I had heard a few of her songs. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you watch that music video. Stunning. All of those girls in unison <laughs> brushing each other's hair and just the, the turn of the story. A vision. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. No notes. Literally, Dua, if you want to make a new rules part two kind of video, I'd uh, be down for it. The deadness of her like performance kind of works with what's happening. Yeah. New rules for me. I, I, and just like the simplicity of the storytelling. Yes. It's really, really great. So new rules. New rules it is. it is. Ooh, this one. This is hard. TLC. <sighs> in a song that I would also call their signature song. I would not. Waterfalls. Great song. And Janet Jackson yes. got till it's gone. I will say, yes. of all of the picking of the signature videos, Janet was the hardest. Oh, She completely. has such a deep bench of incredible music videos. I was so close to saying Rhythm Nation or If. Because it's also like, how are we going to put a Janet Jackson music video in the bracket that's not featuring her dancing? Like, she is sure. an incredible dancer, incredible performer. But if you watch Got Till It's Gone, it, if we're talking about cinema, mm. this is like the most beautiful, like love letter. I just cannot stop watching it. You can't watch it without feeling like warm inside. And it's like a dark time because I think it's supposed to be set in apartheid South Africa. But it's like these black people getting together. The beauty of it, the color palette, the joy, the, the every and the brilliance of that song, which I feel like now people are appreciating. Yeah. But at the time, that song fully underperformed. Like people did not care about the Velvet Rope album until Together Again came out, which was wild. And her hair. Her hair. Iconic in that music video to match the coolness. To me, her signature music video, there's no question. It's Rhythm Nation. I mean, <laughs> to Rhythm me, Nation's it's like great. when I like I, I and I have to say I did not know much about Janet Jackson until like meeting Matt Palmer. Yes. Uh, so Matt Palmer clearly has more of a leg to stand on in his argument as to why he chose Got Till It's Gone. Yes. But me, as an outsider, yes. as a child, I think of Janet Jackson in that military outfit. True. Black and white, that smoky room where it's like you barely see anything. <laughs> I like I don't see anything it's here. A where are we? I, I would have picked. Rhythm Nation. Oh well. Though God's oh well. <laughs> oh well. Oh well indeed. God's Let's Gone is great. But let's talk about waterfalls. Let's talk about waterfalls. Let's talk about waterfalls. Let's talk about waterfalls. When they turn into that liquid. Yes, Alex dancing. Mac was shaking. Yes. <laughs> that is an image. 
from the 90s. Absolutely. Again, with, also with the storytelling aspect, telling all the individual stories right. from the verses and everything. Those three letters took him to his final resting place. You know you saw it. I'm picking Waterfalls. Oh, I'm picking Godfall. If you fine. picked Rhythm Nation, <laughs> I would have put Rhythm Nation over Waterfalls. I, the thing is, but I think you watch these two music videos and I can't believe they're two years apart. Waterfalls, as much as I do love the video, That's fair. looks incredibly dated next to God Till It's Gone. Oh, yes, but there's also like special effects. Sure, like, but with like special effects but is going like, to look dated and now. Even just the like color palette of it, like that, even before the, the out, haze. Yes, it all looks <laughs> very 90s in a way that Janet's video looks timeless. And I love Waterfalls, but God Till It's Gone, like to, to borrow a phrase, is cinema. Sure. The question is are we voting on? Who has the best signature video or who has the most signature video? It signature seems best video. because we put Dua Lipa over um, Ariana Grande. Okay, well, <laughs> that's what it's gone it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Look at that logic. Look at us. You, uh, look at me. I, you, you ate me up Even right there. before we had to do it. I mean, we, I'm sure we'll have to do it later. <laughs> okay. okay, round two. Woo. All right, round two. So yes. we're back at the top left. So Ooh. I just saw it. I, <laughs> I just saw it. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. I'm nervous. Oh, yeah. Well, Jesus Christ. Single ladies versus like a prayer. These would have been my top two. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. But here we are. Um, okay. Let's think. It's hard because we live through single ladies. Yes. We know the impact that that music video had on the world, on culture, on Taylor Swift's co career after the VMAs. Because <laughs> that was when Kanye <laughs> jumped on stage. Exactly. It's also hard because like a prayer is so theatrical so beautifully done and such a controversy such a controversy everyone it made madonna madonna i think i mean madonna was already madonna yes, but it, it, like but then again single ladies made beyonce beyonce right like right like in terms of like oh no this is the rubber stamp they're right. not just here for a couple years right they're here they're literally going to be legends right both of these music videos are that and it's hard because like a prayer is a better song, and, but it's like okay, if we are if we've established the rules, look at your face. If we, we've established the rules. The rules are which is the better signature video, not which is the more signature. Mm -hmm. I think I have a choice. Do you have a choice? And we'll just say it at the same time. <laughs> it's you know, it's a tough time. It World is. art is tough. Art's for competition. I know. <laughs> It's Art tough. is about who wins. It is. Yeah. If we've learned anything. Yeah. Do you have an answer? Sure. Three, two, one. Like Single a prayer. Ladies. Okay. I don't like, I don't. I mean, I don't like either. I don't like knocking either of these ladies out this early, but. The fact that we could, we're knocking out Beyonce in the visual bracket <laughs> <laughs> first. I mean, do, do you want it? I mean, you, if you want to fight for single ladies. No, because I was about to say like a prayer or two. I was going to say like a prayer. When I realized like a prayer was on here against single ladies, I was going to be like, wait a minute. But the history, <laughs> the history. Single ladies is lightning in a bottle. Absolutely. If you were there for the moment of single ladies, you cannot overlook it. But also it's in single, single ladies favor, like they're performing the music video at every wedding. <laughs> Everyone you've been to, you got all the white girls. They are. So I mean that. It's almost like the ubiquity of the video and the choreo and the song hurts it almost. Because it's like, like a prayer feels nostalgic in a way that single ladies maybe isn't old enough to feel nostalgic yet. Because we've been to weddings. And we I just, know. It's always in the culture. And you, you, thought, you thought it was going to win. I know. I really <laughs> did. For the history. For the history. For the gays. I mean, I think there are going to be some gays mad at us <laughs> <laughs> in the comments. But the Madonna gays are meaner. The Beyonce gays are, are much happier because they're always winning. <laughs> so, like, I think I think let's throw the Madonna gays a bone. Shit. Okay. We we did that. I gotta go. I mean, like, I, I, I can't finish this, this bracket. This is a tough bracket. Next up. Woo! Blank Space versus Slay for You. These are the opposite types of music videos that I love. One is all performance. One yeah. is all attitude. One is all sweat and sex appeal. And one is storytelling yeah. in a beautiful way. Yeah. So it's hard. Look, you look like you have a choice. I don't really. You don't? Actually, okay. uh, I was an adult during Blank Space. Yes. Yes. So I was more aware of what was happening. Yes. Yes. And what that meant. Slave for you, I was about a baby. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I didn't, couldn't fully appreciate what Britney was doing. I appreciated it. Okay. I was very, you know, You're, I was watching You MTV. are older. Uh, barely, but I also was watching MTV as a young, at a young age. I was tuned in. 
I was voting on TRL. Well, what would you have voted for on TRL between Blank Space yes. and... Uh, I think I would say Slave for You. It is very close. I think I would say Slave for You. I too. think I would say Slave for You. And the thing is, Taylor Swift did God. something amazing. We are pissing off Beyonce <laughs> fans and Taylor fans back to fucking back. I know. But we, you know what? This is two gay mats and we're brave. I mean, and the Reputation TV album re- reaction. We have to get them ready for that if you want to be best with us. <laughs> Bad Romance versus Honey. Oh, both just so deliciously, beautifully campy yes. for very different very reasons. Very different reasons. And very much like the artist's intrinsic Selves. personhood like, in a music just video. Like, and their senses of humor. Yes. Like Mariah just wear in that sexy bodysuit on that jet ski. It's Brilliant. Hysterical Brilliant. and but yet still gorgeous. Yes. Whereas like Lady Gaga's is like hysterical but scary. Yes. Three, two, one, bad, bad romance. romance. Yeah. I, I love Mariah. All right, next. Uh, Dua Lipa's New Rules and Janet Jackson's Got Till It's Gone. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Got New Till rules. It's Gone. If it was for the nation. Well, <laughs> are we ready? Or two out of three or one out of one? One out of one. We okay. don't got time. I got to edit this video. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, God, so let's go. God, I gone. finally won a fucking rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> you know what? I'm not, I wasn't I, too passionate I about it. I never win rock, paper, scissors. And Gentlemen. it would be wrong if Janet wasn't in the final four. Of, it would. Yes, fucking music it would, videos. But it's also wrong that Taylor's not in the final four. Well, ta- so I'm not call- Taylor, Beyonce, Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. Beyonce. That's Beyonce. what I meant to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love Taylor too. We love Taylor. So, like, but we're talking like visual artists. Visual artists. Like, it's like, like Taylor's top four. It's right. Like Taylor one. and Mariah are songwriters. Gaga yes. and Beyonce are visual artists. Yes. yes. Ooh. And okay. Janet and Janet. Brittany. And Brittany. All four visual yes. artists. But yes, somehow Beyonce didn't make it. Ah! <laughs> but also Madonna. Because of Madonna. Madonna's Madonna Madonna a visual, visual artist. artist as well. Yes. So, would we say all top four? Yeah, all top four are like are great. some of the best visual artists of our time. Okay. Like a Prayer versus Slave for You. Oh, Britney versus Madonna. Queen I of mean, Pop versus Princess of Pop. That's true. That's beautiful. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Like, like a, a prayer. prayer. Queen of Pop for a reason. Shit. Now, next, Bad Romance versus Got Till It's Gone. Three, two, one. Bad, bad romance. romance. Yes. It had to happen. It, <sighs> I it miss you, sweet. Janet. Madonna versus Gaga. Now that's the real. Oh, now that. <laughs> this is a fight that has lasted a decade. Madonna's the two watching of them. this fuming. She's I know like, she is. She's like, she's she's like these fucking, fucking gays. <laughs> <laughs> they better make the right choice. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Do you already have a choice? I do. <gasps> Give me a second. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I'm gonna say. I'm okay. not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I know what I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Like, like a, a prayer. prayer. I don't think I foresaw. I didn't know who was gonna win. I think I thought Bad Romance was gonna win. I thought Single Ladies <laughs> was gonna win, but Here then you put are. it up against Like a Prayer. And then I was like, oh, wait, I forgot about Like a Prayer. <laughs> it's just the the importance of that Like a Prayer video. And the controversy around it. The strength of the song. Not that Bad Romance and, isn't strong. And the, the strength of the video the, itself. Yes. Even if there, even if no one saw it, it would be like, right. what a fucking stunning video. Yes. Madonna is the queen of pop for a reason. Absolutely. As far as music videos go, she and, you know, even though we don't discuss them much on the channel anymore, Michael Jackson, are the two artists that, like, Pre Beyonce, pre Gaga, pre every visual artist that came after them, they paved the way. Yes. You know, and yeah. like Janet was in there absolutely at the same time, but it was almost like her music videos kept getting better as she went along. And like yeah. Madonna debuted a little bit earlier. So it just, it feels like the 80s in a way belonged visually, pop music wise, on the lady side of things to Madonna. And it's still fucking, like, rewatch Like a Prayer, guys. It still holds up. And the fact that she could, Madonna, a, a woman who, like, didn't dance. No. Like, when you think of visual artists, you also think about, like, Beyonce, Britney, right. Janet. Like, the most incredible dancers. Even Gaga's a fantastic dancer. But Madonna was literally just like, no, I am enough. Yes. I am interesting enough. I don't got to give you, like... Like all this stuff no. because like I have such a clear, distinct point of view and perspective. Yes. And the song's great. I mean, and Jesus gonna... was black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus was Cynthia Bailey's uh, you know, daughter's father. Um, you know Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Her daughter Noel is named after her father, Noel, who is the black Jesus and like a prayer. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So, like, the, the actor who played Jesus. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was about to be like, wait, <laughs> did, what, was her, what was her 23 and me like? I know, like, exactly. Like, no, that was the the actor was, yeah. um, you know, 
Someone related to Housewives of Atlanta, I can always bring it back to Housewives. It's a great music video. Watch Like a Prayer. Watch all of the music videos listed here if you haven't before. Because yeah, and truly... watch more of our videos too. Yes! <laughs> well, and if you enjoy us, if you have some opinions, which I bet you do, comments below. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Poor Music. And I, it's Matt Steele. And I have two game match for both of us. Uh, if you enjoy us and have not listened to our podcast, you should. We record it every Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. live on YouTube. And we also put it out the next day wherever you get your podcast. It's called Two Game Match, T-W-O. Wherever you get those podcasts, just give us a listen. And uh, also, if you really enjoy us, go to patreon.com slash two game mats where you can get extra bonus content from us. You can join the Discord and like have a say in some of the decisions that are on the table. I know. Not what's Janet Jackson's first album, which we've decided <laughs> is control. <laughs> okay. But other things are up for debate. Yeah, sometimes when we do another bracket, we put in a poll like, what should we choose between this or this? Yes. And, you know, so, so if you want to be a part of that discussion. Okay, yes, go to patreon.com slash two game mats. You get a lot of bonus content there. And Matt Steele. Yes. Who do we need to give shout outs to today? We need to give a shout out to our legendary patrons. Their names are Matthew Tash, McKenna, Michael, Jen, Jacob, Montana, Matthew, Dallas, Eric, Maxwell, Sam, Simon, Amanda, Armando, Celeste, Heather, Pritha, MJ, Lacey, and Dr. Woods. Oh, thank you guys so much for being legendary patrons, and thank you for watching. We'll be back soon with more to get Mets. Bye. Bye.